everyone, Edward Halterman, Office of the Pacific. So finally, I'm gonna do a catch and cook video. Sorry it's taken so long. I know you guys have been requesting this forever. Um, as you know, I don't eat fish, so I catch them. I love the adrenaline pumping action of catching fish. I like multiple. And then I give them all away to my girlfriend or her family or whoever. But this is so freaking good, I'm gonna eat it because it's Peruvian ceviche and I've been making this for years and it's awesome. So I'm gonna actually eat some and I hope you guys enjoy this. So let's go catch ourselves a halibut. Almost felt like a fish, but probably the kelp, the way everything's going. It's a halibut. Probably a pretty big one. I think this is a really big halibut. I gotta get him out of this kelp or we're gonna have real problems. I hope it's a real big one. He's just, he's already buried in the kelp already. It's a really big halibut, I think. But I can't tell because he's in all this kelp. I really don't want to pull on this fish, but I don't know what else to do. He's in the freaking kelp. Like, I don't know what else to do. They came out. I don't know if I can land him or not. That could be a whole nother issue right there. That was bad, I got him upside down. Okay, there's a legal. All right, there's one. Cool. Oh boy, he got me wet. Probably the camera's all completely Dusted. <sighs> wow, there's no way that hook was coming out. <laughs> Wish they'd swallow it that way every time. So the halibut was buried in the kelp, so I thought it, honestly, I thought it was like a 20 pound fish. Um, that's what I thought. I thought it was a real, real big halibut, but so I don't want to get bit again like the last trip. I got bit twice. Wow, that's way, it's way down there. Wow, that hook is way in there. Okay, so there's my hook. Yep, he's 24. 24 inch Halimoto. There we go, folks. It's on like freaking Donkey Kong. Okay, folks, there's one. We shall make our Peruvian ceviche. Hope you all enjoy. Thank you.
So the good thing about this Peruvian ceviche is when you add the lime, it cooks the meat. It causes a chemical reaction that cooks the meat. So we want to make sure this is totally submerged. So we're salting it to taste, and then everybody can kind of do their own thing on that. There's really no recipe to this other than it's just all by feel, so everybody's going to do it a little different. So as long as we're talking about is the lime juice, the salt, a little pepper, red onions, cilantro, serrano chilies, and a little bit of garlic. So we'll do the garlic next. We have garlic puree, so we're going to do like uh, the purees better. Um, that probably equates to one whole piece of chopped garlic. Mix that in. So on these onions, you just want to slice them as thin as you can. That way it pickles them quicker. And, uh, yeah. Then again, this is just by personal preference. You can put more, you can put less, whatever you want to do. I mash them a little bit to release all the juices of the chili. Now the wild card is, is every chili is different, so you don't know how spicy it's going to be. That's the other part, so you kind of have to test it. And, uh, let's mix the red onions in. So now in the cilantro, what I like to do is I like to chop it up really tiny because for me it releases more of the cilantro essence. Let's see how much we got in here. It's looking really nice. Okay, we're doing this. Okay folks, needs just a little bit more pepper. Poquito más. Bien ceviche. So. Okay, Peruvian ceviche is complete. My catch and cook video. Hope you all enjoyed this. So I had a lot of fun doing it. And here is the final, the final piece of the puzzle. Yes, it's on tape. Edward eats fish. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, I am good. <laughs> That's good, huh? Very good. 
Hey guys, Edward Halterman, Office of the Pacific. Thank you so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Please like, subscribe if you choose. I would greatly appreciate that. So as far as this goes, I will put the recipe in the description and you guys can ad lib it to your own heart's desire. You can add more cilantro, more chili, more garlic, more salt, more pepper, more lime. Whatever is good for you is good. So my way might not be the best for you. So just ad lib it the way you want. It's really not rocket science. It's not hard to make this thing. Super easy. The lime juice cooks the meat. It's awesome chemical reaction. All right, enjoy. I'm clocking out. Later.